Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to show you how to remove the upper left hand door for the ThinQ LG refrigerator. In this video we'll show you how to remove the display and how to remove the ice maker, the gasket, the water inlet valve assembly, and many other things. So let's get started. The first thing I like to do when I get a new door in, I like to inspect it. I will just remove it before I remove the old door and just look it over with a flashlight. And if everything is okay, then I can move forward. If not, just return it and you unfortunately we'll have to wait a couple days before they send you another one. So a lot of times when you replace these doors, it's due because the ice maker is not working or the water inlet valve or you just have a dinged up door that you don't like. So first thing you want to do is open the door and then remove these shelves just by pressing them up. They come off pretty easy. The next step before you get started, you want to make sure your water is turned off or disconnected. As you can see here, this one's not connected, so I don't have to worry about it. Then we'll just open up the door to the ice maker, remove the ice bucket, just lift up and pull straight out. But before we get started with that, let's remove this display panel. Underneath this is where the main control board and everything else is. But you only have three screws in the front of this thing. You have one in the middle, one on the right, and one on the left. The two in the upper... The two in the back, I guess you would say, they don't have nothing in there. Actually, there's four. My bad. So these are Phillips screws. You can use the drill or just a hand tool. It doesn't really matter. And I uh, forgot to tell you, just or remind you, I would say, make sure you do unplug this uh, before you get started. There's nothing in these in the back. So now we're going to remove the cover. You'll just lift up on both sides. Uh, the front where the hinges are, you have to wiggle them a little bit and then just lift straight up. And then you can just kind of move it to the side. You will have uh, wires connected to it. This is the door sensors. But just kind of put it, put it to the side and that's pretty much it. Just put it out of your way. And then you'll just disconnect the harnesses. Um, you don't do like this. You actually squeeze them like, like this. And just kind of wiggle them back and forth until you get them out. Sorry, I had a frog in my throat. And just to disconnect this one, just press down and pull apart, and then you'll just disconnect the ground wire. And these hoses here, you'll have to pull out from the, but you just, you have to disconnect the uh, back uh, hoses first before you pull these out. So as of now, we'll just disconnect the ground wire. So these are the two hoses that you will have to remove to pull the hoses through the housing of the fridge. So there's just two Phillips screws, just put them somewhere safe where you won't lose them or get confused. And then once you remove this, then we'll disconnect the hoses. They, they have some little, I don't even know what you call them, but connectors, I guess you would hook up connectors. So you press them down and you'll press in and out of the hose. Now release it. Uh, you may have some water, so have a towel or two ready. So press down, push in and out. That's pretty much it. So now we can push them through the housing of the fridge. So see if we push and pull, it'll come right out. Okay, so now let's remove the ice maker. So just open the door. Here you have two Phillips at the bottom, one in the middle, and one here at the top. So I would have a long Phillips or a drill with a long enough bit. Uh, just make sure you hold on to these uh, as you remove them because they will fall and you might lose them. This one is a little bit of a pain to get to, but just take your time and be gentle. My fill an ice maker, so I'll get it later. And then you have these two at the bottom we'll remove. Here's the counterclockwise. So now you're going to remove the whole ice maker assembly. You'll just kind of under or grab it with your fingers and lift up and pull forward. And um, You'll then have to remove the harness. I'll take a flathead and just press the clip in 
and just wiggle it until it comes loose and just take the whole housing and put it somewhere safe. So right here we're just going to move the water filter, open it up all the way, turn counterclockwise, and then just pull straight out. And now this housing is one of the Phillips screws here, here at the door. So it's a white screw, one screw, and then you'll just pull forward. Let me show you. Pull forward and it'll be clipped in. So behind here you have your water valve assembly, your tank and so forth. So right here, this little tank is what holds the water. Um, so these hoses were two of them. They have little clips that you have to remove and definitely put them back. This just keeps the holes from uh, popping out and making a mess in your your nice floors or whatever floors you have. Um, remove this clip, and then we have one more clip we have to remove from the hose. The white one little black clip it just keeps the hoses from uh, pressing out under pressure a few moments later okay so now I have both of them out and the other two don't have them so now we have to remove the hose uh, just have a towel or two ready because you will have a little bit of or maybe a little bit more water uh, fall to the bottom because of the tank and so forth so press this in and press in and out there we go so hold that press that in the and you press the hose in and out it's like a release basically the same way we did the back hoses and just take your time have a little patience and then this is a little one, we'll just, same thing, press that in and then push in it out with a hose. And then one down here, there we go. So you will have water, as you can see, there's water in here, it will leak out, just put it in the sink or somewhere. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the door. So just open the door a little bit, remove the Phillips screw on the far right, and then you'll have two at the top. And once you get the two at the top down, hold the door because it will fall forward. Or you can leave one on the top and then do the bottom and probably be smarter to do it that way anyway. So just do one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the top, then open the door, you want to hold it. And then you'll remove the Phillips screw on the left. So you have two at the bottom, two at the top. Sorry for the confusion. So remove this one. And if you left the one at the top, you wouldn't have to worry about holding the door like I'm doing. You can learn from my mistakes. Okay, so the door you'll just basically lift right off and that's pretty much it for now. We'll have to put it back on later. We will have to remove the gasses, side gasses. See these guys, they'll have to come off too. So just don't yank it off, just pull gently one piece at a time or anytime you just yank something off, you could rip it, especially the door gasket when we remove it. So here, uh, I did not put this at the end of the video, but you will have to take a flathead and remove these uh, gray clips out of the door and put the gasket on and just clip the whole gasket in together, if that makes sense. Because these will have to go on the new door also. So we just finished removing this part, the gasket. There we go, and just put them somewhere out of the way. Okay, let's get to the fun part. Removing this display panel, you definitely have to take a, or have a lot of patience. So I use my nail just kind of to pry in this. I would use these uh, plastic uh, putty type knives, uh, knives. I will try to find some to put in the description below. If not, you can get them at Harbor Freight also. So you press that in sideways and you gently pry it out. As you can see, and they're just this uh, display is just clipped into a housing underneath, but definitely be very patient and gentle. Uh, if you don't have patience, this is uh, not a good job for you. Um, so once that's out, and I'll start at the top. Let me work on this side a little bit more. Uh, press in and pry out. 
There we go. So now we can start working on the top part. So I'm just going to work my way around it. I'm not going to try to... There we go. So here is kind of being a, a pain, so... You have definitely a lot of patience. Since that's not budging, I'm going to try this side and try to release the side first and see if that gives the upper right hand part of this. There we go. So this is a display you definitely uh, wouldn't want to buy just to buy. Um, so yeah, just disconnect the harnesses and then we'll move to the next part of the video. So just when we thought the war was over, this is the other part that you will have to remove. Um, this one I did take my time to remove it because it was for a client. I was just trying to save money. Now, however, if you just want to buy this piece, uh, I will try to find this part number for you. If not, you can just put your model number in to LG, LGparts.com and then you can probably find this with your model. Um, usually I just have one extra because it's such a pain to remove that breaking and I just rather just shake it off and just re put the new one on the new door if that makes sense but uh, if you like the challenge uh, just watch this part and I'll show you how to remove it um, so you, same thing you gotta press downwards and kind of pry it out they're clipped in so you see the three clips so just be very gentle because they'll break fairly easy. So once you get this out, then you actually have to go to the bottom part where the dispenser is, or where the water comes out, and we'll have to remove that part to release this the rest of the way. I oh, just forgot uh, to remind you, you do have to release these clips also. So these are kind of a pain to get to, but just kind of work with a side angle. This is definitely a good tool to have something like this to pry these off the uh, housing of the fridge. So once you get these loosened, there we go. I think the display on these is the hardest part of the whole job because they're so fragile but like I said uh, I would just have one or buy one before when I buy the door that way I don't have to worry about doing all this nonsense okay a little bit more sorry about the flashlight I know it's probably taking a lot of your vision away but hopefully it can help you a little bit
So at this point it's loosening up enough so here you got to put a little pressure up in there but uh, go towards the back of this where I have my plastic putty knife and you have to wedge it up in there and then you have to pry it out and downwards and it'll clip off. There's one and it will sound brutal but this is the way that you're supposed to do it. So then we'll press it in pry it off. So see how this all fell off that way? So these are two clips okay. here that clip into the uh, housing of the fridge or the dispenser I would say. As you can see there. So there's one more part of the display you had to remove. Um, so just same thing, put it in there, make a little gap and pry it out. There we go. Let me actually, I'll remove it and show you how it works at a better angle. So I removed the whole thing. So you have to kind of go upwards and out and then just slide it forward. So you'll start up like that and then in and pull out. So that's how it should be done. So it has a little harness and everything. So that's one piece that you would definitely have to remove to put on the new door. So this is another control board. This is way simpler. It's just one Phillips screw. This is on the top of the door. Uh, you'll also have to put this in the new door. This is what controls the water, uh, ice maker and so forth. So this remove all the harnesses and put it somewhere out of the way. Okay, at this point we'll remove the door since we got everything off that's kind of holding us. So you'll just flip this latch over and then you'll pull up on the hinge towards the front of the door or the front of the hinge and you'll just lift straight up and just kind of wiggle the door a little bit and it'll come loose. Uh, and this pulls straight up over the harness and the water hose. And then on this hinge, as you'll see here in a minute, there's a little gap. And you'll just remove one wire at a time. These wires you don't have to worry about breaking because you got new ones on the new door. But when you install the new ones, definitely do one by one and take your time and make sure you don't uh, cut the wire. Okay, so this door handle here, you will have to take off and put on the new door. You'll need an Allen wrench set and a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, my camera died at the end of the video and I wasn't able to show that. But uh, at this point, you'll just lift the door off the hinge and that's pretty much it. You will have to remove the gasket from this door, the heater assembly, and a couple other things. So let's install the new door. This is one you definitely want to be careful with. So just lift it up, uh, get some help if you need. Uh, you have a hole up under the door. They'll uh, click into this hinge here, as you can see here. I'll just fill my finger where I know where to put it. And then I'll open the door until it clicks. So as you can see here, I'll shut the door and it's really not lined up like it's supposed to. It's kind of high, so that means it's not clicked in yet. And then as you can see here, it'll click down into place. Let me find it again. There we go. So now we're clicked into place and then we'll shut the door. As you see the big gap, that's why we have to put the gasket, take the gasket off the other one and put on this one. At this point, we just want to make sure the door is uh, locked in so we can continue working. So to install the hinge, like I, I stated earlier, you'll have to put all these wires and water hoses through this of the hinge so just pull the hoses out and then you'll just go ahead and press them in the 
housing of the fridge where they will go to the back and you'll connect later to the uh, uh, the hoses. Uh, but as I did something wrong here, I should have put the the uh, hinge on first. So as you'll see, I'll fix that like whoops. So I'll take this back out and then I'll just run it through the hole of the hinge. And then I'll run my wire one by one in because I, I don't want to pinch or cut these wires because this is my new door. So, so the door or your helper sometimes will just sit or have someone help you. And all these will fit. Just push them in. And then you'll slide this down in the door itself. It has a hole there. That was the door. And then you'll line this up. You have a groove in the back. You'll see it only fits one way. Just shake the door until you line it up. It's just sit right in the groove where it keeps it in place. And then, there we go, like that. And then just flip it over and that's pretty much it. It locks itself and then just connect your harnesses and so forth. Okay, let's just disconnect this door heater. It's pretty simple. It's just two Phillips screws and there'll be one harness behind it. So once you remove these two screws, you'll take up or lift up on this uh, heater assembly, the door heater. So it has two latches there. It's lift straight up um, and disconnect the harness. This heater is to keep moisture uh, or condensation out of the fresh roof section. Okay, so now we're going to remove the door gasket. Uh, always start from the top and kind of put your hand in there to really grab it. If you yank just by the end of it, you will rip it. So as you can see here, I really dig deep in there to get it a hold of the whole gasket because like I said, if I yank on one part of it, I will rip it and they're clipped in so just to real little bit at a time don't just yank on one side and try to yank the whole gasket off at once because you will rip it and these uh, are not cheap So now we'll install the door gasket to the new door. So I always like to work my corners first and then the top and this press in all the way around the fridge. So I work my first corner, I'll press in, make sure everything's in place, clicked in, and do the same with the right, and then work my way on the top. Okay, and then I'll just work my way down the sides. And don't rush it, just take your time go over it a couple times to make sure everything's clicked into place correctly. Uh, that's the last thing you need is uh, hot air going in your fresh fruit section making your fridge work work too hard. Or basically cool to try to be your home AC and cool down the uh, whole house. So now let's install the Mole heater since this looks pretty good. So you'll just uh, connect a harness and once you connect it you'll press the wire and harness, it, harness inside the door. Then you'll have to slide this down on two little rails I guess you would call them. Uh, so you have to have them kind of lying together at the same time before you press down so they can connect to the uh, new door. So you'll be there and you'll just slide down into place. There we go. And then this will have to be clicked in where the two holes align with the holes inside the holes of the door I guess you would say. And then you'll just install your two Phillips screws.
people and saw this top control board. Uh, I forgot to remove the tape, so I removed the tape. And then, as you'll see here in a moment, I connect these and I have trouble reaching them. Well, because they taped them. So you can remove the tape with your hand. Uh, this is risky what I'm doing. Uh, if you don't have good glasses or good eyes, I wouldn't recommend this. If you cut this wire, you will have to replace the door again. So find the most safest way to remove this tape if you do have this tape. Um, and as you can see here, it fits perfectly. So I'll connect all my harnesses to the main board. Uh, they're kind of dummy proof in a way, so they only go one way. If they don't fit, they don't work. So that makes sense. Um, so we will put them all together and then we'll just put it into place and install the one Phillip screw. Okay, so now I will press the two wire lines through the housing of the fridge and then I'll connect them to the back eventually. Okay, just press down and then I'll connect my two harnesses. Just make sure you put them in and they click. There we go. Now let's finish up with the display. So you'll just slide this piece in the same way you took it out and it'll click and then this harness will hang to the side. So just press in until you hear it click and there we go. So now we'll install this piece, this nice piece. Um, We'll call it the second housing. So you have two little grooves in the dispenser housing there. So eventually we'll have to clip those in, but at first we just have to align it up. At this point we'll have to click everything into place. So I try to click the bottom in first and then the whole display will have to be click, clicked in to the housing of the fridge. So you can see here, everything's loose. So we'll have to click everything together, kind of, I guess you could call it squeeze it together. Um, just press it in and everything should just click into place. And this part is also patience. This was a little bit of a pain. So as you can see, it's out. I have to take my finger behind it and finger in front and press it together. bottom part you have to press up and click in. There we go. So that looks pretty sturdy. So now we'll install the front display. So just uh, connect the harnesses first. this moment I was having trouble putting this uh, display in the place without pushing against or having the wires push against me or from the panel from uh, clicking into place. So I was confused. I kept on trying to press the wires in without being too rough. So what I did, which is kind of weird because this is how it came off the 
first door, but I'm like, hey, you know, I'll just run into this top part. That way it can go straight with the, the display panel. There we go, like that. And to install this panel, you actually have to start in the upright and then work your way down. Don't try to put it in the bottom first. And you'll just click it into place. And you have to take your time and press all the way around to every part of it's clicked in. Because it's flush. Now we'll reconnect our hoses, press this in a little bit. So you just press down and pull out, in and out. And you'll just reconnect this little cover with your two Phillips screws. forget to install the ice maker so the harness you'll have the ice maker and just click the press the harness in until it clicks and then you'll slide see this little tube that will go in this little hole here where it fills the ice maker up so go to angle and then press up and then you'll press the ice maker back gently until the screws are aligned and then you'll just reinstall the screws. Don't go to the side, side angle, just go straight in. Like example, when you're trying to put the screw down here at the bottom, we'll do the top first. But just make sure everything's aligned and straight, not, not sideways because you can mess up the, uh, you can make the hole bigger than what it will be and then it won't hold the ice maker in place. This is what I was getting at, so just make sure everything's straight before you start screwing. Same as the bottom, make sure everything's nice and straight. The ice maker's pressed back, and then screw it down. Never want to go sideways. At this point my battery does die. The harnesses and tubes that are in this, we have to peel this off and pull everything out. Um, if you need to remember how to install it, just rewind, rewind the video and you'll see exactly uh, how to install this. Uh, my battery dies, so wasn't that happy about that either, but here's all the wires and the tubes. Um, that you will need to connect to the uh, valve assembly. And this is one you definitely have to connect to. So yeah, just rewind the video if you need uh, uh, guidance uh, to put this back together. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. And have a good day.